clips is a clip from Fox Outnumbered. And it is very rare that we play a clip that involves Dave Rubin where he does not have the stupidest thing to say That's so in the clip. That's so odd. Now, to be fair to Dave Rubin, he doesn't speak in this clip. So he doesn't say the stupidest thing that's said in this clip. So we still reserve the right in the future to play stupid clips of Dave Rubin. But in this instance, it is actually Julie Benderis who is taking aim at the bipartisan <laughs> infrastructure bill and apparently has no sense of what has been the major legislative fight over the past six months in this country. Fairy tales. I love fairy tales. I mean, but um, <laughs> normally I only enjoy them when it's during a bedtime story in the evening, not on a daily basis for the past year since the White House has been overrun by Democrats. But President Biden has been making promises over promises over promises. And as you've noticed, none Pause of them have come true. And, and when a president made... I didn't catch this, up, but the, the White House has been overrun by Democrats. In other words, the Democrats, Democrats won, won the election <laughs> and uh, walked in. Uh, it, it's almost as if like we need to change the definition of overrun, right? Like, how do we, like, I mean, honestly, this is like a sort of, the, the White House was overrun. It was almost like it was an insurrection. I, I was about to say, right? What happened on January 6th? All right, go back and uh, play it from the beginning. This is when Biden uh, was showing up in Pittsburgh, a bridge outside of Pittsburgh uh, uh, collapsed, and he was there to tout the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Fairy tales. I love fairy tales. I mean, but um, <laughs> normally I only enjoy them when it's during a bedtime story in the evening, not on a daily basis for the past year since the White House has been overrun by Democrats. But President Biden has been making promises over promises over promises. And as you've noticed, none of them have come true. Mm -hmm. and, and when a president makes promises and then doesn't deliver and then something like this where a bus, I mean, there could have been multiple casualties. So thank God nobody was killed. But honestly, a bridge collapsing right before he's back in June of 2021, he's started talking about his bipartisan infrastructure deal there's something bipartisan about it if it if it was bipartisan it would have been passed by now so clearly he's not getting the message across to the other side of the aisle which by the way if you remember during his campaign he said that he was going to be the president that was going to reach across the aisle that he was actually going to make um policy by reaching out to republicans that clearly has not wow. happened yeah now it starts nodding they're all just sort of like are we supposed to pretend like it didn't happen wait i didn't get the memo for this segment because of course the and i'm not and, and i would say i am not terribly happy about it but the bipartisan infrastructure bill it did in fact pass months ago probably closer to june whenever she quoted him probably closer to june than it is today when was it like in september did it pass stop it with these fairy tales she and only likes them in specific times in her life just not all the time and you're just you, you you won't shut up about it well once upon a time almost was it like almost half of the republican caucus in the senate voted to pass this bipartisan infrastructure bill i including think it was 19 including the the leader of the republican party that might in the make senate. it uh, bipartisan there was another, I think uh, it was November 15th. All right, so fair enough. And from June, I guess it was what? What well, doesn't matter? It was, it was months and months ago. They had no clue about it. She just gets on there and opines about this stuff with absolutely no clue. Maybe it's like a 51st date situation where she had some sort of dra traumatic brain injury and she's waking up and she thinks that it's November 14th every day. Bipartisan infrastructure hasn't passed. It's like Groundhog Day. Well, everyone around her keeps giving her a paper saying this is the news of the day. She can't remember. The other thing that people should take away from this clip is, is that whatever motivated the White House into splitting up this bill so that their signature piece of legislation was going to fail. And they thought they were going to get all sorts of plaudits and momentum from passing the bipartisan bill. Guess what? Your entire sense of American politics is completely divorced from reality. It took about 30 seconds for people to forget that you had passed the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Nobody cared. Everybody wanted the material benefits that were coming in the Build Back Better bill. That's what you campaigned on. 
bipartisan achievement gets you nothing in politics today. I'm not even sure, frankly, that providing material benefits for the American public gets one as much as it should. But the idea that it's bipartisan is going to get you anywhere is just, it, that may have floated 30 years ago. I don't think so. Bill Clinton was impeached by the, right after they passed the bipartisan welfare bill. But it certainly doesn't work today. So um, I hope it's a lesson for the Biden administration. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. He'll still get blamed for that bridge. <laughs>